All right, y'all. This is Yeehaw. I'm gonna be bringing you back another little video. This is of my stepson's first turkey hunt that he's ever killed a turkey on. Um, he's wanted to go this year, so um, we was out in this field yesterday and uh, mowing some grass and everything like that because it's been so high. So we actually uh, went out there the day before and cut it all down. As we was driving in that field, though, there was a nice sized tom in there. And uh, we was in there about two, three hours cutting grass. And when we come back out, there was another tom in that field up closer to the road. And, uh, you know, I told him he had his chance of wherever he wanted to go at that uh, we had another spot picked out. But he, uh, he wanted to go to this spot. And so... Uh, Needless to say, I didn't get much footage because there wasn't much gobbling going on. We haven't been getting much gobbling, so I don't really got much of an um, a introduction or anything like that. So we're just going to jump straight into the video, guys. So um, y'all sit back and uh, hope you enjoy, guys. Buddy, you can't. There's no way that you can see him. I don't want him to get. I don't see him. You hear him just go. As of this point, guys, I could see him on my side of the blind, which would be the left side sitting in it, and CK's would be on the right side. The turkey was moving right, so out of his range when he, he's a right-hand shooter, so it's really difficult for him to even, you know, see him more or less to get a shot on him right now, so we're just trying to adjust. Don't go on 
until he turns this way and put that green dot right on his head, okay? Okay? Yes, sir. And I'll tell you when to shoot, okay? Hold it real still. Okay, buddy. Whenever you're ready, remember the top of his head. Go ahead. Got him. You put it on his head, though. Yes, sir. All right, that's good. You shaking? What do you think about that? I was excited. <laughs> I know. Yo, it was crazy. This morning, I didn't get much footage because uh, ain't been no sound going on. What, no hollering? No nothing. No gobbling. It was all quiet. And it just wasn't much to record. And then we was in here yesterday, we was cutting the grass down because it was so high. I mean, it was just, you couldn't even see the decoys, it was so high. But when we came in here, there was a tom in the field. When we was leaving the field, there was also another tom. And uh, we was going to set up at another spot in the CK wherever he wanted to sit at. So he said this is where he wanted to go at. So out of nowhere, I was calling all throughout the morning, and then all of a sudden, this bird pops out of nowhere. And I uh, ain't heard a gobble all morning. He get in the field and then he starts gobbling when he sees decoys. So, that was CK's uh, first time ever. So, and it looks like he had a nice beard, so we're gonna go over there and see. My drilling, my, my drilling is shaking too. <laughs> well, we're gonna go over there and check him out, guys. Make sure you watch them spurs, buddy, because he'll spur you still. Huh? Why you jump? <laughs> you know, here's a bird. He's got some big old spurs on him. I tell you that much. He's got about a nine and a half inch beard. Somewhere that I, I might measure anything yet, um, but I'll let CK tell you the story. This is his first bird ever, so uh, I'll let him tell you the story, what he does remember. Tell him the story. I was sleeping, and then Josh over here told me I can't get nothing while I was sleeping, so I woke up. A couple minutes later, he told me there was a Tom out there. I, at first, I didn't see him, so I just kind of moved a little bit that I seen him. Then he kept on coming a little bit. He didn't come too close to the decoys. They started walking away. Then, then we had to scoot over before I could get him. Then I got him. The end. <laughs> but, uh, you know, first of all, guys, I want to thank the Lord for this opportunity. Because, um, of course, without him, ain't none of this possible. His creation and everything like that. Um, but the second, I enjoy it with my stepson um, to be able to get his first one on video, his first one ever, and then for it to be this this nice of a one. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people's goal is to get you know a bird with big spurs or a big beard, but uh, to me, that's not the trophy. The trophy is just actually getting one. Um, you know, they're all tough out here to get. Everybody out there turkey hunts. Um, you know, it's just to, to get you one, whether it be your first one or you know your last one. It's just something about when, you, when you're out here hunting. It's uh, it's nice to be out here to, to uh, capital. So, uh, without further ado, guys, we're gonna get home and I guess CK is gonna learn how to clean a bird now instead of actually watching his stepdad do it. I guess he's actually gonna do it himself now. That's all part of hunting. So, anyway, guys, I know it wasn't much of a video, but. Uh, it was pretty quiet. It's been pretty quiet for me all year. 
I ain't been hearing much goblin, and uh, I guess they still with the hens. They're real quiet. They ain't, ain't nothing, nothing making no noise around here in South Carolina, down here in the lower part, guys, in the low country. So we still go after them, though. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, guys, always give the Lord thanks for what you do and always put in force on what you do, guys. But until then, guys, this is Yeehaw. We'll be back with another one. You dreaming about any turkeys? I sure ain't seeing them. You ought to, you ought to see the spurs on this thing. This joker is, these things got, these things are huge. Yeah, it got like he got to the point where I told him, I said, you gonna have to sit on my lap, because, <laughs> because he wasn't, he, he wasn't coming to. He wasn't coming to like the decoys. He was like strutting and wanted the, the decoys to come to him. But I told him, I, he kept walking to the right, like where the tree stands at. And I told him, I said, you might have to sit on my knee. <laughs> yeah, he was both shaking after he shot. I, I was fine. I was fine before he shot. It was after the shot. And I seen a fly from my screen and started pumping then. No, he, he didn't sit on my lap, but the bird was kept walking to to his right where he couldn't really get the shot on. So I told him, I said, you have to sit on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, my he's a nice one. Yeah, he's a nice one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Were you able to record it? Yeah, I got it all on film. <laughs> 